Have you ever dreamed of starting a business that lets you travel the world, discover new cultures, and generate an income simultaneously? If so, importing goods from Thailand might be what you want. As a person who has lived in Thailand for around four years, I could say Thailand offers many opportunities for savvy importers looking to make money with its rich history, vibrant culture, and booming export industry. And what I have learned from my own international business journey, starting an import export business actually a step-by-step -step process and if you follow those steps then actually things can become a lot more manageable hey friends welcome to my channel where we discuss the strategies principles and tools that can help us on our shared international journey toward financial independence and building a life that we love i am really happy to see you here in this video i want to explain you to how to make money importing goods from thailand step by step and this video is going to be aimed at beginners. So if you have been thinking of starting an international business, but you maybe haven't started one yet, then you can follow the steps to starting an import business from anywhere in the world. Are you ready? So let's start with the basics of importing goods from Thailand. Then we will go deeper. First things first, importing goods from Thailand isn't just about making money. It is about discovering new products, building relationships with suppliers, and immersing yourself in a rich and diverse culture. With some research, hard work, the right tools, and persistence, you could be on your way to living the dream of becoming a successful international trader. In this part, we will look at the benefits of importing goods from Thailand, including its strong economy, competitive prices, welcoming culture, and rich cultural heritage. We will also explore how to establish strong relationships with Thai suppliers and navigate the country's unique business practices. And all that stuff will help us to build our import empire solidly from the ground up. So guys, take your pen and paper and your coffee. Let's get started. Thailand has one of the strongest economies in Southeast Asia with a gross domestic product of over 500 billion United States dollars. The country's economy is driven by export with major industries including automotive, electronics, agriculture, and tourism. Thailand is one of the world's largest exporters of rice, rubber, and seafood, among other products. The Thai government has also made significant investments in infrastructure, including transportation, telecommunications, and energy. These investments have created a more efficient and effective business environment for importers, allowing them to transport goods easily and communicate with suppliers. But why should you care about Thailand's strong economy and export industry? The answer is simple. When you import goods from a country with a strong economy and export industry, you have a better chance of finding high quality products at competitive prices. Additionally, you can be assured that your suppliers are reliable and experienced in exporting their products to other other countries. Thai products are known for their quality and affordability. From intricate handicrafts to modern electronics, Thai manufacturers take pride in producing high quality goods that are both functional and aesthetically pleasing. Due to the low labor cost in Thailand, many products can be manufactured at a lower price than in other countries, making them competitive in the global market. But how do you know which products to import? One way to ensure you are importing Importing high quality products is to research the market and identify products in high demand. For example, suppose you are interested in importing textiles. Thai silk is known for its luxurious texture and vibrant colors. Another way to ensure you are importing high quality products is to build relationships with reliable suppliers. We will explore how to do this in more detail later in the steps. So keep watching. Thailand is known for its welcoming culture culture and friendly people. It is an ideal destination for those looking to build strong relationships with suppliers. Thai business culture is also unique with its etiquette and practices. Understanding Thai culture and business practices can help importers establish trust 
and build long-term supplier partnerships. But what does this mean for you as an importer? It means you must be prepared to invest time and effort into building relationships with your Thai suppliers. This may involve learning basic Thai language skills, understanding the country's customs and traditions, and building relationships through social events and other non-business activities. Building relationships with Thai suppliers is essential for establishing trust, creating partnerships, partnerships and navigating the country's unique business practices. For example, Thai business culture values personal relationships over formal contracts, which means you may need to be flexible and willing to negotiate on specific terms. Building solid relationships with Thai suppliers is crucial for successful importing. As mentioned, Thai business cultures values personal relationships over formal contracts. Suppliers are likelier to work with importers they trust and have established relationships with. So how do you go about building relationships with Thai suppliers? First, you should find potential suppliers. I will explain how to find reliable suppliers in the second step. Once you have identified potential suppliers, conducting due diligence and researching their reputation and experience is essential. You can check their reviews and ratings online or ask for references and referrals from other importers. You may also request products and Samples to ensure the quality meets your standards. When communicating with suppliers, being respectful and patient is essential, as communication may be slower or more indirect than you are used to. Thai cultures values politeness and indirectness, so avoid being too direct and aggressive in communication is crucial. Additionally, to building relationships with Thai suppliers, you must also navigate the country's unique business practices. This includes understanding the legal and regulatory requirements for importing goods into your home country and any applicable tariffs, taxes or custom fees. When importing goods from Thailand, you must work with a reliable freight forwarder or customs broker who can help you navigate the complex shipping and customs clearance process. They can also guide the best shipping methods, packaging requirements and insurance options. Here, I should tell you shipping is a crucial aspect of international trade and if you learn more about that subject, it will help you more to manage your import-export business. So if you want to learn more, I have an ebook for you. You can find my Etsy store link in the description. You can click and get your copy now. All right, the other important thing is understanding the payment and negotiation process. It is crucial when working with Thai suppliers. In Thai culture, negotiations are often seen as a collaborative process. Both parties work together to find mutually beneficial official agreement. This means you may need to be flexible and willing to compromise on specific terms. In terms of payment, it is common for Thai suppliers to require a deposit or advance payment before beginning production. This is a standard practice in the country and can help suppliers manage their cash flow. However, ensuring that you have a clear payment agreement and are comfortable with the payment terms before proceeding is crucial. Importing goods from Thailand can be profitable and rewarding business opportunity for those willing to invest time and effort into building relationships with Thai suppliers and navigating the country's unique business practices. Now we fully understand the basics of importing goods from Thailand and let's move on to the steps of building our international business empire. Okay, step one is identifying profitable products to import from Thailand. So you have decided to start importing goods from Thailand but are still still determining what products to focus on. With so many options available, it can be overwhelming to know where to start. We will explore tips and strategies for choosing profitable products to import from Thailand in this step. Before you start searching for products to import, it is essential to consider your target market. What types of products are in demand in your home country? Are there certain niches or industries that are particularly profitable? By understanding your market and its needs, you can focus your search on products likely to sell well. It is also important to consider your competition. Are there other importers already selling similar products? How can you differentiate yourself and stand out in the market? This may involve finding unique or high quality products your competitors don't offer or focusing on a specific niche or market segment. Thailand is known for producing wide range of high quality products from textiles and jewelry to food and electronics. 
rates. One strategy for identifying profitable products to import is to focus on products that are unique or have high perceived value. For example, Thailand is known for its high quality silk products, such as scarves, ties, and clothing. By importing these products, you can offer customers a unique and luxurious product that they may not be able to find elsewhere. Another example is Thai jewelry, often handmade and featuring unique designs and high quality gemstones. By importing these products, you can offer customer a unique jewelry that they won't find at a typical jewelry store. Another approach for identifying profitable products to import from Thailand is researching popular Thai products and seeing if they have potential in your home market. For example, Thai food is becoming increasingly popular worldwide thanks to its unique flowers and health benefits. By importing Thai products such as spices, sauces, and snacks, you can tap into this growing trend and offer customers a taste of Thailand. Other popular Thai products including home decor items such as pottery, statues, and furniture, as well as beauty and skincare products such as natural soaps, oils, and creams. By researching these products and their popularity in your home market, you can determine if there is demand for them and if they could be profitable to import. When considering what products to import from Thailand, it is important to consider the logistics. This includes the size and weight of products, as well as any regulatory requirements or restrictions that may apply. For example, suppose you are importing large and heavy products, such as furniture or machinery. In that case, you will need to factor in the cost of shipping and handling. Similarly, suppose you are importing food products. In that case, you will need to ensure that they meet your home country's regulatory requirements and standards for food safety. Finally, keeping an open mind, being bold, and exploring new markets and product categories are important. Thailand offers a wealth of opportunities for importing, and by being open to new ideas and products, you may uncover a profitable niche you hadn't considered before. For example, you may discover a new Thai product that has yet to be available in your home market but could have potential. By importing these products, you can be among the first to offer it to customers, giving you a competitive advantage and potentially high profits. To sum up, identifying profitable products to import from Thailand requires market research, understanding your competition, and being open to new ideas and opportunities. Following the tips and strategies outlined in this step, you start your search for profitable profitable products confidently and clearly. It is also crucial to remember that products you choose to import may evolve. As your business grows and your market changes, you may need to pivot your product focus to stay competitive and meet your customers' needs. So don't be afraid to experiment, try new products, and always be open to new opportunities. So now we are ready to move on to step two, and that is finding reliable suppliers in Thailand. Once you have identified Identified the products you want to import from Thailand. The next step is finding reliable suppliers to work with. This can be a daunting task, especially if you are new to importing or unfamiliar with the business landscape in Thailand. But don't worry, with some research and effort, you can find trustworthy suppliers who can help you build a successful import business. One of the first things you should do when looking for suppliers in Thailand is to conduct online research. Many online directories and marketplaces can help you find potential suppliers. Some popular platforms for sourcing products from Thailand include Alibaba, Global Sources, and Thai Trade. When searching for suppliers online, it is essential to be cautious and do your due diligence. Look for suppliers with a good track record of reliability and quality. Be wary of any red flags, such as meager prices or payment requests before the products have been shipped. Another effective way to find suppliers is to attend trade shows and exhibitions. These events are excellent opportunity to meet potential suppliers face to face and see their products in person. Some popular trade shows in Thailand include Bangkok International Trade and Exhibition Center Bitek and the Thai International Furniture Fair. When attending trade shows, you must come prepared with a list of questions and a clear idea of what you are looking for. Take the time to get to know the suppliers and 
and build relationships. This can help you establish trust and open lines of communication that can be invaluable as you develop your business. In addition to online research and attending trade shows, you can also consider working with a sourcing agent or consultant. These professionals have experience working with suppliers in Thailand. They can help you find reliable partners who meet your needs and requirements. When working with a sourcing agent, it is crucial to establish clear expectations and communicate your needs and priorities. Be sure to ask about their experience and track record, as well as their fees and pricing structure. Here, I want to tell you, I have import-export consultancy and coaching services also. If you want to start an international business or take your business global, you can reach me via email for learning more about my services. You can find the email address in the description. I will be happy to see you there. Building long-term relationships are the final point to remember when finding suppliers in Thailand. Importing goods from Thailand is not a one-time transaction, but an ongoing partnership. Building strong relationships with your suppliers can establish trust and loyalty, leading to better pricing, more reliable delivery, and other benefits. So, finding a reliable suppliers in Thailand is essential to building a successful import business. By conducting online research, attending trade shows, working with a sourcing agent or consultant, and building long-term relationships. You can find trustworthy partners to help you grow your business and achieve your goals. So take the time to research and build strong relationships. The rewards will be worth the effort. And let's go to step three. Step number three is managing the import process. Congratulations, you have identified your profitable product, found reliable suppliers, and build a strong relationship with them. Now it is time to manage the import process. Importing goods from from Thailand may seem overwhelming, but with some planning, organization, and helpful tips, you can ensure a smooth and successful import process. Here, I will explain how to manage the import process step by step. Step one is to understand the import process. Before starting the import process, it is essential to understand the process itself. Importing goods from Thailand involves multiple steps, including obtaining necessary licenses and permits, arranging transportation and clearing customs. Make sure to research and understand all the process involved in the import process to avoid surprises or delays. Step two is create a timeline. Creating a timeline for your import process is crucial. It helps you keep track of all the tasks involved, identify potential delays, and ensure that your products arrive on time. Consider production time, shipping time, customs clearance, and possible delays when creating your timeline. Step three is to choose a freight forwarder. A freight forwarder can help you navigate the complexities of the import process. They can arrange transportation, handle customs clearance, and ensure your products arrive at their final destination. When selecting a freight forwarder, look for one with experience importing from Thailand, good communication skills, and a solid reputation. Step number four is to arrange shipping and logistics. Shipping and logistics can be complex and require careful planning. Choosing a shipping method that suits your needs and budget, such as sea or air freight, consider factors like the weight and size of your products, transportation times, and shipping costs. Step 5 is to clear customs. Clearing customs can be one of the most challenging aspects of the import process. Customs regulations can be complex and vary from country to country. Make sure to research the custom regulations regulations in your country and obtain all necessary permits and licenses. Step number six is to prepare for arrival. Once your product have arrived, make sure to have a plan for their arrival. Arrange for transportation from the port or airport and ensure you have a system for unloading and inspecting the products. Ensure all necessary paperwork such as bill of lading are ready for customs clearance. To sum up, managing the import process involves these steps. Step 1. Understanding the process. Step 2. Creating a timeline. Step 3. Choosing a freight forwarder. Step 4. Arrange shipping and logistics. Step 5. Clearing customs. Step 6. Preparing for arrival.
well. With careful planning, organization, and the help of professionals, you can ensure a smooth and successful import process. So let's move to the next step. Okay, step number four is marketing and selling your imported products. You have identified profitable products, found reliable suppliers, and successfully managed the import process. You did great work, but your work still needs to be completed. Now it is time to market and sell your imported products. Marketing and selling imported products from Thailand requires a different approach than marketing domestically. It would help if you navigated cultural differences and language barriers to reach your target audience effectively. I give some tips for marketing and selling your imported products. Tip number one is to build a strong brand. Your brand is what sets you apart from the competition. Develop a strong brand identity that resonates with your target audience. This includes your company name, logo, packaging, and marketing messaging. Be consistent with your branding across all platforms to build brand recognition and trust. Tip number two is to consider localization. While your products may be popular in Thailand, it is important to remember that your target audience may have different preferences and needs. Take the time to research your target market and adapt your products and marketing messaging to meet their needs. This could include offering different product sizes, flowers, or packaging. Tip number three is to leverage digital marketing. In today's digital age, online marketing is a must. Use social media, search engine optimization, and pay-per-click advertising to increase your online presence and reach your target audience. Consider hiring a professional digital marketing agency to help you navigate the complex world of online marketing. Tip number four is to attend trade shows. Trade shows are a great way to showcase your products, network with potential buyers, and stay up to date with industry trends. Look for trade shows in your industry and make plans to attend. Tip number five is to offer exceptional customer service. Exceptional customer service is essential to building a loyal customer base. Be responsive to customer inquiries, provide detailed product information, and offer prompt shipping and delivery. Tip number six is to partner with influencers. Influencer marketing is a popular way to reach a wider audience. Identify influencers in your industry and offer them a partnership to promote your products. This could include providing free samples or commission-based partnerships. In conclusion, marketing and selling your imported products require a different approach than marketing domestically produced products. Build a strong brand, consider localization, leverage digital marketing, attend trade shows, offer exceptional customer service, and partner with influencers to reach your target audience and grow your business. After all those steps, now we come to the final step and that is scaling your import business. You have successfully imported products from Thailand and establish your business in the market. Now it is time to take things to the next level and scale your import business. Scaling your business means growing your operations, increasing sales and expanding your customer base. But to be honest, It is easier said than done. Scaling a business requires careful planning, investment, and execution. In this step, we will explore strategies and tactics to help you scale your import business. First, expand your product line. Expanding your product line is one of the simplest ways to grow your import business. If you have been successful with one product, consider adding complementary products that your customers might also be interested in. This can increase your revenue and help you attract new customers. Second, improve your marketing. Marketing is the backbone of any business and it is critical to scaling your import business. Now, it is time to start if you still need to use digital marketing strategies. You can leverage social media, email marketing, paid advertising, and other digital channels to reach a broader audience and drive more sales. Third, streamline your operations. As your business grows, your operations 
operations become more complex. To scale efficiently, you need to streamline your operations and eliminate inefficiencies. Identify areas where you can automate or outsource tasks to reduce your workload and focus on more critical business activities. Fourth, invest in technology. Investing in technology can help you streamline your operations, reduce costs, and improve customer experience. You can use technology to automate processes, manage inventory, and improve logistics, among other things. Fifth, find new markets. If you are successful in your current market, it is time to consider expanding into new markets. You can explore new regions or countries with a demand for your products. Conduct market research to identify new opportunities and create a roadmap for expansion. Six, build strategic partnerships. Collaborating with other businesses or individuals can help you expand your customer base and increase sales. Look for partners who share your values and can help you reach new markets. For instance, you can partner with influencers or other businesses that complement your product line. And last, secure funding. Scaling your business requires investment. You can secure funding from banks, venture capitalists, or angel investors. Prepare a solid business plan and financial projections to convince investors that your business is worth investing in. Scaling your import business requires effort, investment, and a willingness to take risks. However, plan carefully and execute effectively. In that case, you can achieve significant growth and take your business to the next level. Remember that scaling is not a one-time event. It is an ongoing process that requires continuous improvement and adaptation to stay ahead of the competition. All right, my friends, if you like this video and you want to learn more ways of starting an import-export business from scratch or finding overseas buyers, all that kind of stuff, check out these two videos over here, which are giving you some ideas and opening new doors for you. So thank you so much for watching. Do hit the subscribe button if haven't already. Do not forget to like this video and share it with your friends or on your social media. I appreciate you guys for helping me to reach more people and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.